I could only practice or teach one style, what would it be? That's actually harder than you might think. <laughs> I have learned something from every martial art that I've ever encountered. And I, I got a lot of love for a lot of them. Of the existing ones that I have encountered, I would say probably Mark Hatmaker's stuff. He has basically a mixed martial arts style that is heavily based on no rules boxing. In other words, the incorporation of things like headbutts, elbows, and forearm shots. And old school submission wrestling. So very much ground fighting with a wrestling mindset of, you know, get on top, stay on top. If you're on the bottom, get up. I don't think he actually teaches that aspect anymore. He's been really pursuing, sort of trying to recreate or preserve, you know, things like frontier fighting these days. But he had that mixed martial arts style. He also had a, I would call it self-defense combatives program called No Second Chance. Liked a lot of what was in that. So between those two things, you know, the mixed martial arts and the combatives, you throw those things together, there's a lot to explore very deeply. You know, it might sound like it's, you know, lacking in weapons. Uh, he, he had an improvised weapons program that I didn't really get to, but of the material of his that I encountered, that is among the most complete. And I say that with all due respect to, you know, the, the Filipino arts I've encountered, you know, classic jiu-jitsu and all that stuff.